Amen. How about before we are seated, we read two verses from the Bible from 2 Peter chapter 1. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, and this would be verses 3 and 4. ทุตุเนอะญีงาโรโกบုံตะโกเนคอรอมุโตพะยากุติตอญาอาภิงาโรอาเตชินจินพะยาวุไนมุ่ยหลอจินเนซัสไซนตออะยาชิติมะโรโ
ကျွန်တော်မှာအကောင်းနဲ့အကျင့်တကူကတော့နေထိုင်းကျွန်တော်အစားတာအစားတာတောက်တာကိုကျွန်တော်အကျင့်ပါနေတာအဲ့အဲ
what we think about. Let's take some time to think about this. We are called to know the excellence of God and His glory. This means that we are given the power and the right to understand the glorious things of God. And also to know the excellent ways of God. And the power that God gives us allows us to access everything we need to live our life God's way. I believe this includes breaking the bad habit. Putting away the old thing that results in something bad. If you hear what I'm saying, we have been given the power to do this. If you have a habit of something for many years, you can put it away. Amen. Amen. I want to preach this to us tonight. We have the power that God has given us to use faith to step into our calling to know the more excellent ways of God to know the glory of God and to show this all around us. And we may choose these things. And we can make the choice to cancel the old things. Now there is a liar, we call him the devil. And every time we fall back into an old habit, he really attacks us so hard right there. And sometimes we agree with him. Not only in our mind, our thoughts, but even out of our mouth. Well, I, I did something again that I did not want to do. I have failed again. I have not been giving glory to God in this area of my life. Maybe it is true, I just cannot change it. I cannot break free from it. But we also read that the promises of God have been made known to us. And the promises of God are greater than my doubts. If I am not walking in the promise of God, it is my fault. I hope you know I love you tonight. And, and, and this is from love. And also the Holy Spirit has been preaching this to me. 
And, and one thing he told me was, you're not the only one who needs to hear this. <laughs> I, I am called to better things. I am called to overcoming walk. And I have received power to make the right choices. Even if I have made the bad choice for years and years and years. Let's let this anointing come upon us tonight. We have the power to break it through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And we also read in this verse that by faith, by the calling of God, and by what we know through the word of God, we have escaped the evil that is in the world. Now this is a possibility for us. And this is a statement of prophecy for us. If we are walking in it, then it is becoming real in our lives. If we are not walking in it, then tonight I want you to know it still remains a possibility for us. And the prophecies of the word of God are true. They will not fail. We just want to believe it. And then to see it come to pass in our lives. And this becomes the day of breaking the old, escaping from that curse, and taking a step into a new calling. Hallelujah. Amen. If we will believe it. Amen. Amen. Let's read some more verses here from the same passage. Verse 5 through 8, okay? Okay. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want you to notice two important things from these verses. Number one. It says, add to your faith. In different versions, you may see different words. But this is the picture you should have. We, we come to God through Jesus Christ by faith. And then as we go further with God, it is also by faith. And God has set before us things that we may receive into our lives. It's important to see this is God's favor. This is the way grace works. We, whether we read in the Bible, 
or however we come to this revelation. God has made me a promise. He has made something possible for me. But my faith is what pulls it into my life. And so God says you may add these things to your faith. Even our faith is a gift from the Holy Spirit. Every man has received a measure of faith. And, man, and so we add to our faith. Amen. Amen. And the second thing I notice in these verses. And it's in verse number 8. The things that are listed here. That we add to our faith. The knowledge of God, self-control, the godly things that we respect in our life, the excellence of doing things the way God does them. There are things listed here for us. Verse number 8 says that these things are mine. And that they may always increase in my life. This is the same way with faith. And with grace and with everything God provides. There is a day of beginning. There is a day of the first step. There is a day of revelation and understanding our calling. And from that day, we go higher, we go further, we increase. And so these things that are added to our faith, these are gifts from God and we are promised that we can receive these things. But God does not force them on us. But our faith is the way that we access them. And that's why we hear it in the form of a command to us. Add these things to your faith. And always keep adding and adding and adding in Jesus' name. And as our knowledge increases, then our abilities through the grace of God are also increasing. Let me say this another way. So faith that brings Jesus into my life. Can bring also the whole nature of Jesus into my life. By faith, we can add to our life the power that Jesus walked in. And we can add to our life the abilities that Jesus served the Father with. 
the way he ministered to people. The king Yeshua come here up here and Lord Obelo not can get the lay. The king Yeshua lure yet see Obelo can get the lay so that yare go lay. Yon chin chin ha me chan ro ya yu nai de. And adding God's abilities may always increase my whole life. Piyan ke ya ananda kanta me tu ya ta swan nai jingu chan ro te go te tuin de pish singa ta te long lo po pshit de la. I need to decide I want it this way. I start thinking about different things. And some things I begin to do a different way. And maybe some things I stop doing completely. And other things I increase the time I spend on these things. Let's read two more verses, nine and ten. I think these verses make something very clear for us. That if I am not seeing the nature of God in my everyday life, then I need to make better choices. I need to claim and declare the power God has given me for better choices. There's there's something that uh, I like the way he says in verse 9. That if, if I am not showing the excellent qualities of God's nature, is, is because spiritually I am too nearsighted. So I, I, I wear glasses, some of you wear glasses. Some of you are like my wife, she puts in the contact. Yeah, so I, I tell her, you, you, are, you have secrets. You're, you do not see as well as me, but no one knows. Can, can I tell you something funny? Yeah. I was away from home in a meeting. Uh, my wife called me. It was early in the morning. She said, I need you to pray for me. Because something is wrong with my eyes. She said, I'm standing at the window and I cannot see what's going on outside. So I asked her, did you put in the contact when you woke up this morning? She said, yes, I put uh, both in, both eyes. And then, just to be funny, I said, how about the old ones? Did, did you take the old ones out first? <laughs> so always at night, you take them out. She didn't say anything except, I will call you back. <laughs> In five minutes, she called me again. <laughs> And she was laughing. And she said, how did you know I was wearing two contacts? And I said, so see, you didn't need so much help, only a little bit, not, not double. <laughs> In the verse we read it, 
it says we are like nearsighted people. And this means we are not seeing the bigger picture that God sees. You know why? It is because of bad habits. And the bad habit begins with bad thinking. Have you noticed sometimes you hear a word from God when you come to the worship service? Or it could be any time really. God uses someone to say something that maybe it's not new for you. But for a long time, your thinking has been down here. You have allowed the limits. You have been failing to put on your glasses or something. And you are seeing things in a limited way. But then you hear the word of the Lord. And it is like you wake up or something. You suddenly see something. It's always been there. But you were looking low. And the Holy Spirit is wanting you to look higher. How many times in the Bible do we see this? Lift up your eyes. Lift up your head. Get a higher vision. In the psalm says, my help comes from God. And so I will look to the mountaintops. I will stop looking down. But I will look at the bigger picture. When you lift up your eyes, when you look to the higher places, this is a picture of prophecy coming to pass in your life. It's like looking for the coming of the Lord. We know Jesus is coming. We know this will be a supernatural event. Even if people don't believe it, that cannot stop it. We are not here forever. Jesus is coming. When I lift my eyes, then I become the man of faith who is looking for the supernatural help. I know nothing is impossible. I know God has made all things possible. I know every promise is mine. If I make the choice to break the old habit, to lift my thoughts, to start thinking about better things, to say, Holy Spirit, help me to break the old thinking. Instead of just turning to the old way with eyes down, lift up my eyes. Not be nearsighted, but see the big picture. Is this what I should do? Is this the way I should do it? Or is there a better way? It also says in these last two verses that if I am diligent or if I focus 
This word is also about looking for the right things. Taking my focus off of the old things and putting it on the better things. Then I will prove the calling of God in my life. And he says, I will not fall. This means just turn again to the same old sinful thing. If I practice what my faith believes. And this is how it works. First there is a thought. And then there is considering that thought. And then there is some action. Either by words or something that we do in our body. And most of the things we do are both at the same time. We're talking and we're doing. Now here is God's way. Take every thought captive. Amen. Do you remember that verse? Mm -hmm. This is what we do. The New Testament says that we take every thought as a captive. You, Yes, we can do it and we can start now. And we are not just doing without thinking. But using our faith and leaning on the grace of God. We are considering everything now. We're saying, I, I know that I have the power through God to do everything that releases glory and results in excellence. And lifts my eyes and lifts my head. And I will not see the same results again. But I will see new results. Because I'm thinking new things. And I'm saying new words. And I'm taking new steps every day. And I am going to come to a new place. And I am looking at the higher place. I know my help is coming. More power is coming. More grace is coming. More of the nature of Jesus. Amen. Do you want this? Do you believe that we can have it? Do you believe God has made it available to us? Amen. I think we are agreed about it. So let's stand up together. Amen. I'm glad we are here tonight. And that we can take a step on a word like this. Some old thing is finished in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Some old power has to let go tonight. Because you choose it, you decide it, and you say it. Hallelujah. Amen. The new thing will begin 
when you say the old thing is dead. If anyone is in Christ, that one is a new creation. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things are new. All things are new. Let's say together. To do in Kaya, all things are new. All things are new. Hallelujah. All things are new. All things are new. I receive the new thing. I receive the new things. I declare the new thing. I declare the new things. I am alive in the new spirit. I am alive in the new spirit. I will see the new thing. I will see the new things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Let's lift our hands. Amen. And Amen. Praise Amen. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. God for Hallelujah. new things Amen. and new beginnings. And new ideas and new thinking. You said we have a new mind. The mind of Christ. You said we have a new nature. It is the nature of our heavenly Father. And you said we can have a new eyesight. And we are looking for better things tonight. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.